How many times have you looked at a crumbling old building and thought, you know, if only somebody would make an effort, that place could look great again. Well, Ed Jones met a Hendersonville artist and her family who not only thought about improving their community, they did it. Watch. This is a story about walls. Walls that didn't separate or isolate, quite the contrary. Through inspiration, collaboration, perspiration, renovation and recreation, these walls would become a bridge that would bring a community together. The flood of 2010 absolutely destroyed almost the entire park system that we're standing on. Uh, we would have been underwater here. So it, it did damage the walls, damage the playground, and so we were almost to the point of tearing the walls down. Dave Lamar and the Hendersonville Parks Department had a problem, as did most of Middle Tennessee. The effects of that monumental flood would be visible for years. Concrete walls in Memorial Park, once adorned with handprints of local children, were falling apart. Then came an answer out of the sky, Yvette Renee's three-year-old daughter, Sky. I would notice the walls behind the playground, and Sky at one point said to me, she said, well, Mom, why don't you make those pretty again? Because she knew that I really thought something needed to be done. From that day on, Yvette was an artist on a mission. She started building a team, beginning with her husband and fellow artist, Mark Cowden. I said bring it on. We've been doing larger and larger projects together in the studio, and, and this one at the time, these walls were in really bad shape, and we just felt like it was something we needed to do. The team grew exponentially once Yvette contacted friend and co-worker Lori Kissinger, director of Borderless Arts Tennessee. The idea was to have individuals with disabilities and individuals without disabilities working on this. And so we set up an entire summer of individuals primarily with disabilities, but then we'd have community days where it was anybody who wanted to come out to come and work with Yvette and make the mosaics. With an army of volunteers assembled, Operation Memorial Park Mosaics was put in motion. Over several months, teams of all ages, all abilities, and all backgrounds prepared individual pieces and workshops for installation in the dream designed by Yvette, Mark, and Skye. Then after six months of the workshops, it came time to build which means the building took place in our studio and we bring it here and install it. That way we could work through the winter months in order to get everything completed in a timely manner. Timely is a relative term. It took a good year <laughs> every single day for Yvette and her husband. Over almost a year we worked together and made the medallions. Artists Kathy Plourd and Wilma Richards were given the task of creating the centerpieces or medallions for the mosaics. I guess I started maybe with the butterflies and then as I got into it, I thought it's a park. They should have children on them. At least two of them have children playing in the park and, and they're my favorites. Art has been my whole life. It's timeless as far as unifying people and giving people the freedom to create without worrying what anybody's gonna think. And it's for a greater cause. And I think that's just a, a really special thing about community art is just about being together and exploring and having fun with it. Then came the day that brought the community together again, not to work, but to celebrate a dream come true. The Memorial Park Mosaic is a physical example of the interconnectedness of us all. Art is a timeless, unifying force, and we are honored to be a part of Hendersonville's first public community art installation. Not everyone can say that they have participated in a public art piece, and I really feel pride 
and all of the kids. Um, it just warms my heart. It makes me very happy to see the beauty and see them restored. My favorite wall. We've all worked very hard and I hope that these can last forever. I'm just so proud of everybody in the community that was involved with this. Even if you just made one piece, it really means a lot. Seeing the, these children find their pieces and take ownership of their art, because it's everyone's art, this, nothing happens in isolation, this is true community. You named the word, that's it, it creates community. So it was really wonderful. I think that's what it's about. And my grandchildren did come and worked with the groups and they can't wait to come and find their fish. <laughs> Which I think that's the whole intention behind this is that lots of young people and adults have something invested in it and it's fun to look for it. I mean, there really is something about going, wow, I made that. <laughs> that's my flower.